Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft 1.19, my adventure in Middle Earth. And today, what have we got planned? Well, it's going to be an exciting one, that's for sure. Oh, there's an Enderman zipping around. <laughs> anyway, I have been just updating this sheep farm. I just put in some blocks and pillars in place, some actual stairs, so that then I can get down. And as you can see, it's kind of producing wool at a constant rate, that's for sure. And I'm loving it. I'm loving how much wool I'm getting from this. And you really don't even need to actually replace the shears that often, neither. There is still teething issues, unfortunately. But at the same time, I don't mind because even if I just leave this to it and the world despawns, I'm still getting far more wealth than I would have got even if I was just manually sharing them. So this works. This works for me. I'm really happy with it. There may be some additions to this up bit here just as time goes on. But for now, I think it looks pretty good. Now, the smoke in the background is from my miniature bee farm that I've just been doing here. I have been collecting some beehives and making up some bee nests just to get some honey blocks and some honeycomb. Uh, just, you know, so I can start waxing some copper once I start getting it on mass. In fact, can you see it? Can you see behind me? There's another beehive just there, which I may end up getting at some point. So what have we got planned for today? Well, it's going to be an exciting episode, that's for sure. I have got big plans. And I think if I just open up this chest here, I think you will be able to tell. <laughs> That's right, today I am planning on taking on a particular dragon, and I think it's time to get on with it. Now, I have fought the dragon, I think, once before, so this is going to be a, um, this is going to be an experience, that's for sure. I have 16 eyes of ender, I've actually got, I think, 8 more ender pearls, and I think 8 end rods as well. Uh, okay, I did a little bit of end busting, not end busting, <laughs> nether busting, <laughs> blaze rod collecting. In fact, I'll just show you here. It's, it's not a lot, but it's enough. I also tried to get some with the skulls as well and failed miserably. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and I think the first thing that we need to do is to find ourselves the stronghold. Now, I'm not 100% sure where it's going to be, but I get the feeling that it won't be in this direction because over that way was the spawn area. So my premonitions is going to be this direction here. And... Let's see. First pearl go. Okay. Yep, that's fine. Did it break? Well, that is already an unlucky sign. The first ender pearl we threw <laughs> broke instantly. I'm thinking we at least need to go in this direction over here. Oh, I'm wondering if I should be taking my boat. Let's boat ride it. Okay, let's try again from here. We're in a birch forest, so I'm thinking we may have gone. Uh, where did it go? Right, that way. We are at the other side. Let's try this again. Oh! This way. Did we? Okay, we're approaching another village. Interesting. This is still relatively close to where I live, to be honest with you. I mean, sure, it's not like right close, but I think everyone might be dead. Where is everyone? Hello? Oh, there's a villager. Oh, this is a cute place. You must be a cleric. Hi. Here is spider. Oh, I hear a zombie. Ew, okay. Oh, okay. You're locking us in. <laughs> now, this is interesting. I'm wondering if, whether or not, it's here. Because they normally tend to spawn underneath villages. Now, let's have a look. Still saying to go this way. It's not in the village. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's just keep walking this way, shall we? We're in a savannah now. And I've walked, but I've walked pretty far. Let's go on top of that hill over there. And then let's see where the end of takes us next. Sorry, I have ended. It's ooh. 
Ooh, it's always so confusing the difference between ender pearls and eye of ender, that's for sure. But I think we'll just check this out down here to see if there's any good loot. Mm, no, absolutely nothing. Red the top. Let's just test this out. It's gonna go that way. Now you're telling me to go back. So I'm wondering, have I gone too far? It's gotta be around here somewhere. It keeps firing me in and out. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's gotta be around here somewhere then. I think that this is probably the best place to start digging. Let's see if we can find a stronghold. I think if I just dig around this bit here, I should be able to find something close. After all, I'm not, I don't really know how far down they tend to, sh like, generate. I don't really know, to be honest with you. Like I say, strongholds are not really my strong point because it's not really something that I tend to end up going into. Oh, there's some water, so it can't be on that bit. Oh, okay, right, I, I've dug down quite far. Yeah, quite far. I think this is it. Yep, this is definitely it. Right, okay. Now, we just need to just suitify myself, you know, in the proper sorts of ways. With a little shield and a sword. <laughs> okay, and I'm in. I'm also thinking I'm gonna want to keep this place little. Just a little bit. So I'm thinking we can run around with some torches as well. But as it currently stands, not much going on in here. Oh, that just looks awful. Okay, let's go, let's go in a different direction. No, not see anything in there. Got this stronghold, right? Okay, so there's nothing in these sections. I've lit all this up. Let's see what's down here. Found a library. Oh, here it is. Found it. Oh. Finally, we have made it. Oh, no. <laughs> we have, after that rude interruption, we have finally made it into the stronghold. And here we have the portal. Only one eye of ender. Good thing I got a lot. Okay, I think first things first, I am just going to uh, just sort out the inside of this, just so that then I know I'm pretty safe in case anything glitches out or, you know, goes horribly wrong, as these things normally tend to. Okay, I think it's time we just get rid of everything I don't need. Okay, there we go. Right, so the spawn point's set. I have everything that I need in my ender chest here. I'm thinking, yeah, we don't necessarily need anything else, but I do kind of want to get equipped out, so I'm also thinking that we're probably going to want to take this and this and maybe a stack of arrows as well, just in case, because you never know. Oh, and my golden apple. It basically, it, it's better to be prepared than to be prepared at this point, because knowing me, I will probably die at some point. So I'm thinking we're good. Yeah, okay, right, we've got everything that we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I am nervous and I'm also very ready to get this whole thing going. Dragon, here I come. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. Where are we? What's going on? Who's this? Ooh, this looks like a very weird spawning platform. Okay, I can see from over there that there is a tower, so clearly I'm going to need to go up from here. So, I think the best thing that we can start doing is let's place some blocks and then we can make basically a staircase up to the top level. Well, it's gonna happen at some point, I'm gonna end up hitting them. Ooh. Nope! Okay, the, and the battle begins. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, first things first, we need to start taking out the actual towers. Uh, I'm thinking the best thing to be doing at this point is to pillar up with some of these stone bricks. And if we can, 
think I'm probably just gonna do it from behind. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Being <laughs> built faster. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> I am not doing very well at this point. Okay, I need to take out these targets. I'm thinking the best thing to do is to do it from afar. Come on, I have a terrible time. There we go, one down. Oh, oh, oh. I suck at PvP, I suck at PvE, I can't do this. We're just gonna have to speed bridge to the top. I'm thinking that perhaps maybe a heightened sense will give me something more realistic to aim from. Okay, back in, back in, back in. <laughs> oh no, what happened to my bridge? <laughs> Screw this. I need, a bridge. I need something which is gonna get me up there. Where is, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is, there it is, there it is. Right, okay. We have all of our stuff again. Let me just get this sorted. <laughs> it was all worth it for that one moment. Right, now I just have to get back up to the top of here because I'm thinking that this could be better for me as a height advantage. Alright, so the cage ones pretty much have to be down too. Looks like he's back to get more dirt. Right, where was it? It was the smallest tower. Smallest tower. <laughs> the one we just got. There it is. It's most of them. Okay. Alright, come on then. Bring it up. Now comes the struggle of man v beast. Where did she go? <laughs> Okay, so that's the uh, maybe we don't need that again. <laughs> okay, can we not get it at this time? a few times <laughs> but finally <laughs> it is done we have defeated the end oh and now for the sweet sweet sounds of xp so now what this means is that we have complete access to the end and we can go end raiding which i think we'll do a little bit of in today's episode so the fun and excitement has <laughs> trying to finish for the time being, <laughs> but I am definitely wanting to get out some of those Outer End Islands because I am in need of an Elytra and 100% in need of Shulker Boxes. So, let's go explore, shall we? There is 
Whenever you free the end, you get one portal. You get one. Ugh. <laughs> Damn it. Damn these endermen. There is effectively outer portals. There's one. So the outer portals themselves, you can, I think it's 12. Someone correct me in the comments below. But you get 12 portals for every dragon that you kill. And this just basically means that you can go in and across the entire length and breadth of the end in all directions. Because this is an island, so you effectively don't get very far from here. That's all just void space until for about probably 12,000 blocks or a thousand blocks or something stupid. Now, to get there, I'm just going to create another stairwell. I decided stairwell was a boring idea, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Now there's two ways of getting in here, one of them is to use a trapdoor, which I don't have on me at the moment in time, or you can just throw an end pearl in, like so. And here we are, you go turn out on a platform, this is a really awkward platform, and then you have the entire end in which to explore. Always remembering that you do have these little like units where it can get you back to where you need to be. So as long as you've got ender pearls, which is not too difficult considering it's a ton of endermen, then yeah, you can go pretty far to be honest with you. Now I am wanting to, I think, bridge across here. It is always good to have uh, a lot of stuff to start doing the bridging process. But I'm thinking that this direction is probably going to work for me better. So let's go about this way. Once you get to a certain point and you run out, what you can do if you want to is throw an ender pearl, and then you're there. So there's your little bridge behind, and then you've made it this far. So these, I believe, these are chorus fruit. <laughs> yeah. And you can get the actual chorus flute. flute. <laughs> You can, what am I saying? You can get the chorus fruit flower, I believe, by shooting it off. Like so. So yeah, so you get the chorus flower. And this means that you can basically grow your own chorus fruit. Chorus fruit gives you that enderman effect where you can appear and then disappear again. But it also acts a little bit more like a building brick, a renewable building brick, because you can make purple from it. Not that I have any intention of really using purple, to be honest with you. I think that's probably a block which doesn't really work with my current colour theme, but you could do, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. And I think that for more creative style builds, something where we're not going medieval, purple's actually probably a very good block to use. Okay, I am trying to find an end city. What I think I might do is just increase the render distance. Aha, uh -huh. okay, yeah, good thing I did that because otherwise I would not have seen this. So, this one has the ship in it. I think this is a good place to start. I just need to get some more bricks because, yeah, I'm running pretty low. I only have about five. What was in my ender chest? Uh, nope, I have no more bricks. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab some more. Excuse me for a minute. Time for something daring. Oh. Thank Christ. Okay, I have made it, and here we are at an end castle. Now, end castles are very special because they have a few things in here that I like, and that includes end rods for lighting, because they always look so cool, and of course, sugar boxes! <laughs> Now, sugar boxes are going to provide me with everything that I need in terms of sugar shells and, of course, me being able to build much larger contraptions than what I can do now because, let's face it, you can only get so far when it comes to, you know, not having movable storage. Right, so now we can enter in. And I suppose you could enter from the bottom to the top if you wish to. You can enter from the top to the bottom. It really doesn't make a difference. And now begins the parkour experience. Right, we go this way first. Come on. I have one shulker shell so far. <laughs> 
We can see why this is not my most fun thing to do. I need my tools and diamonds and some gold. Yes, please. Now I just need to collect all of the shelly shells. Nope. Yeah, that was bound to happen. Okay, I'm back. I have everything that I need. Let's get back into this. Let's try, <laughs> Let's try and do it because that was not fun. I had to go and grab some wood. I had to go and do all sorts yet again just to get back in here. End raiding is seriously one of the most uh, hardest things I have to do, especially considering that I am rubbish at any form of PvP. So of course I fall off, yep, and stuff like this happens, which I need to be more careful, seriously. There we go. Okay, where is the... It's right over there. How am I even going to get to it at this point? Come on. Come on. Right. Six seconds. Come on. Finally! Okay, I have it. I can just get out of here if I really want to, but I know for a fact that there is... I have to get more shulk shells. I am gonna have to try and get another set, because otherwise, this is all been for nothing. Like, one set will do me nothing. First things first... Oh, will I even have enough levels to do this? Well, we're about to find out, I suppose. Nope, I don't have enough. Right, okay. That's fine. What we can do is we can just keep on going around, attacking some more shulkers, and I'm pretty sure I will have enough levels by the end of it. Yes, flying! Okay, right. We have just taken our first flight. I think it's now time that we start busting out for some more shulker shells. And I'm trying to think where the best place would be to get them. Okay, it has been some time in the nether. Not the nether, the end. That's how long it's been. And I think I'm done. I have got quite a bit of loot. I've got quite a bit of shulker shells. I think it's about time that we actually, you know, get ourselves out of here. <laughs> Um, and I think I'll be taking this little prize dragon head home with me. And we are back. It's been, it's been a while. It's been a few days. I've just been spending some time, as you can see from my levels, just, you know, trading with the village trading hall, getting everything back up to where it was supposed to be, and enchanting everything. But, look at me! Look at me! I finally have wings, which means we can finally fly, and it means we can finally do this! Oh, no, nope, I don't have my rockets. It means we can finally do this! And look, we can see it all. We can see just how everything is starting to look, from the village of Breeder, the flower farm, even the wheat fields and the sugarcane field as well. And then of course, oh, of course it would rain. <laughs> and then we've also got the iron farm. And you can really see how everything is starting to turn out in this world. It's looking absolutely amazing. I'm loving every minute of it. And uh, I think this also means I'm going to have to have a slight rocket addiction by the time this is all done. But hey, that's why we've got the sugarcane farm, and that's also the reason why we're going to be building a creeper farm as well. 
Whoa. I don't think the skies is a great place for me to be right now. One moment. We're also oxidizing a ton of copper as well. And next episode, I think we're going to be making ourselves a little bee farm. Just because I have got all of these bees in here, in these uh, little shulker boxes that I've managed to bring back with me. And I've also got my redstone as well. And, of course, I have the rest of my shulker boxes all in here, all organized with a few different things in each one. So, for example, I have got all of my spare weapons, my spare armor in this one, and then I've also got things like food boxes, rocket boxes, you know, just all sorts of stuff that I'm going to need. Oh, and a spare elytra as well. Yes, that's right. When I said I was going to go, I didn't. I carried on going because I just wanted to grab some more shulker boxes. I also wanted to grab another set of elytra, just in case, because you never know. When you die in this world... You kind of need something which is going to get you back there. <laughs> but I have run out of time for today. I know, I know, it seems a little bit silly, but raiding the end and defeating the dragon took a very long time. I'm not very good at either, to be honest with you, but it was a hell of an experience and I can't wait to get on with the next step. It's going to be building a lot. It's going to be really taking this world to the next level. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be great. So if you've liked this episode, make sure that you hit that like button and also subscribe as well. And whilst you're there, why not ding the bell as well? Because then you'll be updated every single time I upload a video. And it helps me out a lot. <laughs> and of course, why don't you leave a comment as well? Let me know what was it like when you first fought the dragon? Did you die as many times as I did? I really want to know. Let me know. And of course, next time round, we're going to be building quite a few farms. It's going to be a farm-centric episode, that's for sure. But I think up until that point, you guys, we are going to leave you here. I want to say thank you very much for tuning in. My name has been Buster, and I'll see you next time round. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs>